Good day everyone and welcome back to the X-Explorer for another video. Now I promised in the last video that I will come back with the, another video on the VXO circuit and uh, what I wanted to test is to see if I can could cover the entire CW portion of one particular band. So in this case today we're going to test the 80 meters band but of course I'm going to test this one in the future um, off camera <laughs> for the 40 meters band, the 20 meters band, 10 meters band and so on. Uh, trying to see if I can get it to work uh, properly on all amateur radio bands. So what I built here right now, it's a simple uh, VXO circuit with an oscillator. Um, I have a Colpit oscillator and uh, I built this one in the past, but I want, uh, in that one I couldn't cover that much and I wanted to see if I could cover even more. And uh, I had a surprise. <laughs> so uh, let's carry on and talk about this one really quick. It works fantastic. And, uh, and after that, we'll talk a little bit more about what we're going to use this circuit for. So this video, it's actually very, very important. But of course, now without saying thank you to my friends at PCBWay for always sponsoring and supporting the DX Explorer channel. They have great PCB prototyping services, PCB assembly, SMD stencils, CNC, 3D printing, and a lot more services available for you. Don't forget about the module store. They have great stuff over there that you can order. And I will always recommend you to order that stuff uh, that you might need from the, from the module store together with your PCB boards so you get everything in one package. Also, all the projects that I'm presenting or most of them that I'm presenting here on the YouTube channel, they might have PCB board designs which I'm posting over there under my profile. And you also have a link to that down in the video description. Feel free to order any of the PCB boards. You can either order simply the PCB boards or the assembled version if you don't feel like uh, heating up that soldering iron. Now, of course, if you don't have an account for PCB Way, you'll also find the link in the video description that you can register for your new account and you'll get a discount on your first order. As I'm always saying, PCB Way is the way. If you're into designing stuff, uh, please uh, feel free to participate in the PCB Ways uh, 8th project design contest and uh, I think you might like that. So have a look in the video description. I'll put a link down there as well for you and uh, take a look uh, and uh, feel free to participate. Who knows, maybe you're one of the winners. Now on the screen you can see the schematic that I used to build this VXO. I built this one in the past. It's not the first time when I'm building this, but in the past I only covered a little piece of the CW portion of the, band, uh, the 80 meters band and I wanted to see if I could cover the entire uh, CW portion of the band. So right now the lowest frequency um, on the receiver it shows me 3.533 uh, megahertz and I can go even lower actually. I placed earlier a um, fourth inductor. It was 10 micro henry that's the only one that I have but it goes under 3.5 megahertz and um, probably if we could use something like 2.2 or 3.3 micro henry inductor which i don't have right now uh, we might be really close to 3.5 megahertz so let's see the maximum frequency and if we take a look on the receiver it's somewhere around 3.58 i believe Yeah, 3.58 mega, uh, 3.58 megahertz. <laughs> so <laughs> we're covering a lot, and uh, obviously I think we can cover even more uh, with an extra inductor. So let's take a closer look on the on the tiny SA as well. This is what I get. Let's go to the lowest one. Now, obviously, on the receiver and the tiny SA, there's a slight difference, but the idea is the same. On the tiny SA it shows me 3.535, something around there. So it works and it's, it's fantastic. And the highest one, 3.582, something around there. Now what I want to use this one for the the VXO again I was uh, uh, talking about this in the last video I said that I'm going to build um, uh, an entire VXO 
uh, this is just a, a quick test to see if it actually works and I can cover that much uh, of the of the band uh, 80 meters in our case but I will build um, a buffer stage over here and I'm going to use this one connected to a pixie transceiver which will be slightly modified in order to uh, to make it work with this VXO circuit but before I do the um, uh, the pixie transceiver actually I'm going to build a separate transmitter a, a simple CW transmitter with VXO for my friend Vlad and obviously it's going to be for the 20 meters band <laughs> because I promised I'm going to build him a, a better one than the little spy transmitter that I built in the past I'm not sure if I could cover uh, the entire uh, CW portion of the 20 meters band uh, because the crystals that I have are quite small and I I think I only have two left but I'm going to try to, to do my best for that so Vlad get ready because I'm going to start working on your CW transmitter and uh, after that, uh, that that's that is what we're going to do in the next video so we're going to transform a simple uh, VXO circuit into um, a simple um, a CW transmitter with VXO so he, he will be able to and you as well if you're going to build this one you'll be able to cover the entire CW portion of the band of course meanwhile I'm going to try to make some more adjustments and um, uh, get it to be as stable as possible and um, obviously we don't want any chirp we don't want any instability or harmonics so um, yeah, I'm going to, to take care of that and, uh, and prepare this circuit. And yeah, in the, in the next video we'll build a transmitter and after that we're going to start uh, playing around with um, uh, the Pixie and I also have a 49er uh, QRP kit uh, that I built in the past. I believe that was the first thing that I built when I opened the, the DX Explorer channel. So um, we're going to try to use it with that one as well. And as you can tell here, with just a few extra components, uh, which are not too many <laughs> to, to be able to, to cover um, uh, so much, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing. So I have to say a special thank you to Peter Parker, VK3 Yankee Echo, because uh, <laughs> I learned from him a lot when it comes to VXO circuits. And um, yeah, I just like to, I'd like to say a big thank you to, to Peter for all the, the videos that he posted in the past. So again, I'm going to stop here for today. Uh, come back next week because we're going to start playing around with the, with the transmitter and you will see how we transform a simple um, VXO circuit into a nice CW transceiver. Um, today it's a short video, uh, but um, yeah, I just wanted to test this one really quick and see how much I can cover. And again, I'm, I'm really impressed that I can cover that much. So. Uh, I'll uh, see you next week. Until then, thanks so much for watching and 73 from Yankee Oscar 6 Delta X-Ray Echo.